Hello YouTube, it's Dell Rugby PM. Uh, this is not a silver video or a gold video. This is just a um, currency collection and roll coin collection, uh, mostly non numismatic. Um, so before we get started, I'll read a little bit from the sayings from uh, a Farsi book that's really cool that I got. Let's see where I left off before. Okay, we'll start off with Seneca. You can see this is in Farsi also. What's the difference? What difference does it make how much you have? What you do not have amounts to much more. According to Seneca, the Greek um, scholar. And then one more. Money is like a sixth sense, without which you cannot make a complete use of the other five. By Somerset and Maham. All right, one more. Money has never made man happy, nor will it. The more of it one has the more one wants. Instead of filling a vacuum, it makes one by Benjamin Franklin. Interesting that that's in a Iranian book. Okay. Um, additions to the currency. Uh, everybody knows I look for currency, so a couple guys in a store brought me these from, uh, looks like Nepal. And then uh, old 20 currency, 10 rupee from India. Um, and I think this one, if people can help me out, I don't know if this is Sri Lanka or Nepal, I'm not sure because it doesn't say in English script. I haven't looked into it yet. Um, and then over here, I picked up, um, well, I picked this one up a while back, Queen Nefertiti, but then I just picked up these six. I traded for some of my Iranian currency to get these, and yeah, they're in pretty rough shape, but they're Egyptian notes from the 1940s and uh, let's say 1940s mostly, maybe some 1950s. So they're pretty cool, although they're in rough shape. This next one I got is pretty cool. It's fake, obviously. Um, and I think Kangu Ginku means fake money in Japanese, but it's based off of the wartime currency when they had inflation. You know, you had the 10,000 yen. I don't know if that was just before or after uh, the end of World War II. Um, this is my only non. This is my only numismatic coin I have that's not silver with me here in Qatar. It's uh, an Ottoman coin from about 1912, I believe. But to add to that collection, I've got three. Uh, looks like uh, two King Farouks and one the King before King Farouk, his father. Um, and this is very similar to an Ottoman silver coin I have. So when I saw this, I thought, oh, that might be good. Uh, but they're not. They're nickel and copper, actually bronze. Uh, they're from the 1930s. Um, still join my numismatic but not precious metal collection. And these are some pretty cool coins from Egypt and the United Arab Republic from the 1970s. Um, these are actually, you, you can call them either Syrian or Egyptian because for a brief moment in time they were um, a united country um, in the 19, early 1970s. Um, just funny, but the guys at the local store are always picking up world currency for me. So I got something from Thailand, from Jordan, United States. A penny is a value here because you don't see very many of them. Um, I believe this one's Malaysia. Uh, I can't remember what this one is. It's, uh, oh, that's uh, United Arab Emirates, kind of cool. And this one is an Indian 50 piaster. Um, so then, these are the other world coins I have that I've collected and picked up here in Qatar. And then the, the, the currencies of interest that I have are these Iranian currencies and I can pick them up from the last place that sells them here in Qatar. They've been banned everywhere else. So people who want to buy the Iranian currency, please hit me up with PM and I'll make an arrangement. It does cost me about $30 to send currency. Um, so you're going to have to pay for the 30 bucks. Plus, um, I do have to charge a little bit per bill because they do cost me money. But I can get interesting Syrian currency. I can get Egyptian currency all day long. I can get anything from the Middle East. Uh, some close to UNC, some not. This is probably the best I can get for the Iranian if you look at it. The Iranian uh, is circulated. Um, I can get the 500 euro Bin Ladens if people want these over here. Um, I can get cool cool bills that are nearly uncirculated like these thousand mark uh, from Switzerland which are really cool um, so anyway
Please hit me up with the PM if you're interested in any world currencies or world coins if you want to trade or to purchase. Um, thank you very much.